Good evening, we're almost wake up. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the WikiLeaks file dump that uh, took place yesterday. It was about 400 gigabytes of data, encrypted data, I should add. Uh, the thing is, they released the files without the key needed to access the actual data in the links that they posted. Posted it on their Facebook and Twitter pages, and they're calling it the insurance data files, which led to a lot of people taking to Reddit or other uh other websites on the internet and add their own twist or, or thoughts on what's exactly in these files because no one can actually access it. Like I said, you need a key to access it, but you can download all 400 or so gigabytes of the files. The files were posted a few days before Bradley Manning's sentencing day, which could come as early as Tuesday, and he faces up to 90 years in prison for leaking confidential documents from the American government and of course you know the government they get you if you expose what their wrongdoings are and it's just a whole controversial subject and I'm not really going to get into it that much in this video because we're focusing mainly on WikiLeaks. So a lot of people decided to give their two cents as to what's inside these files and I myself am curious as to what is in it. What's exactly WikiLeaks motive releasing these insurance files uh, could it be a blackmail or threat to the US government should Bradley Manning face the toughest charges and the 90 years in prison a lot of people on reddit think that it, the files contain something really massive something that could spark a whole internet cyber war or something relating to other nations as well as the American government. Many people also think that there's video footages inside these documents as well as other people think that this is Edward Snowden's files, the whole mainframe, the whole NSA leaks in, in a whole clustered into one massive file. Now WikiLeaks did order everyone to mirror the links just in case something happens to the original links. They're all on other websites, file sharing sites like uh, the Pirate Bay and, and other sites. Which leads me to wonder myself, what could these files contain that is so big that WikiLeaks sees as a threat, as an insurance, should anything happen to Riley Manning, though they didn't mention that. That could also be a factor, definitely an important factor to look into this week coming up. His sentencing is coming soon. I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, leave me in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think these files contain? When can we actually be able to access the whole file? Or will we ever, should the government actually go easy on Bradley Manning? Which I doubt he will because you know how the government is. The U.S. government will get you for catching them doing stuff that is wrong. And of course, you know, the people in the U.S. government, they could do the most terrible crimes in the world. You know, George Bush, uh, war crimes. They could do the worst thing possible and they'll still get away. But if you, a citizen of the US, expose their wrongdoings, guess who's gonna pay the price? Not the person who got caught doing something wrong, you will. And that's how the American government works and still waiting for someone to challenge it. But till then, all we have is these patriots who decide to stand up and we all give them all our respect and attention and stuff that they deserve, like Edward Snowden, Bradley Manning, like I said, let me know what you think these files contain, whether it's something tremendous, whether it's related to Bradley Manning, or whether we will actually be able to access these files ever. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up this video, and watch our previous videos on World Must Wake Up. YouTube.com slash World Must Wake Up. Thank you. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.